Skeptics of Reddit, what is the one conspiracy theory that you believe to be true? That anti-dandruff shampoos temporarily get rid of dandruff, but somehow dry your scalp out even more over time, so it worsens your dandruff when you stop using it. Edit, and in today's news, an inbox died today after a comment suddenly exploded. So I thought I had dandruff for years and always used head and shoulders or other related dandruff shampoos and nothing really worked. One day, my friend says, are you sure you have dandruff, and not just dry scalp? I thought they were the same thing, so I did some googling. Turns out if you have dry scalp, dandruff shampoos make it worse. Just to see. I stopped using dandruff shampoos, and started doing things, to treat dry scalp and my dandruff went away, after like, 20 years of dealing with it, yeah, I could have just gone to a dermatologist, but then I wouldn't be able to put this comment on the internet, edit, dandruff dry scalp sufferers unite, a few people asked what I did for the dry scalp, the biggest thing I did, was brush my hair more often which loosened up the flakes. After years of struggles and this is what fixed it, you could imagine my irritated happiness. Since I do, have really thick hair, using a hair dryer helps vs air drying. I still have some problems with weather changes, but it's not an everyday issue like it was. I stay away from all medicated shampoos and tea tree oils now. Now on to fix my acne issue. I believe Area 51 was a base for building and testing new top secret aircraft. When the government denied its obvious existence it took on a lot of interest from the conspiracy theorist world. The US government now works to maintain the mystery around the base in order to maintain the focus of the conspiracy theorist community and distract them from the actual things going on elsewhere. I'm not sure this is so much a conspiracy theory, anyone who's not tinfoil hat nuts knows it's just an air force base where they test their new jets. The government obviously aren't going to admit it so just let people think what they like. That there are child six rings with some high profile people involved edit, look up the Franklin cover up. Dr. Kelly, WMD weapons expert, was murdered by the British government in 2003. Wikipedia. Or wiki David Kelly, we pawn sex but backslash backslash, I remember this happening, it was weird. The guy was demonized in, most of, the press for spreading misinformation, then his suicide was all over the papers, the next day a couple of reports of mysterious men in suits disappearing from the scene, and then those witnesses were hurriedly silenced. A very public inquiry was launched, which ruled the death a suicide, at the expense of an inquest. Afterwards, the medical records were sealed at the time, you Eddie Hitler, although the results of inquest were later released in 2010. Medical experts have since questioned the suicide ruling, and of course, we now know he was right to question the 45 minute launch of WMDs in Iraq. I'm convinced in 50 years we'll discover he died for nothing, and no one will care, but at the time, his death squashed any, powerful, voices claiming Blair was wrong to push ahead with the Iraq war. Edit, Reddit formatting isn't showing the link. Conspiracy confirmed. Anyway, here it is. Wikipedia. Or wiki David Kelly, we ponce expert, never mind. Fixed it. Thanks you Plakert Lark. Honestly I'm not normally one for these, but I can't help but believe, when faced with the overwhelming evidence, that King of the Hill was cancelled due to Dale's theories being uncomfortably close to the truth. Conspiracy theorists and anti-conspiracy theorists both think of themselves as skeptics so... That aliens know we are here, and potentially visit the Earth from time to time. Now, while there is definitely life on other planets, just think statistically about how many planets there are, it's gotta happen more than once, right? I used to seriously doubt that aliens actually came here. It just doesn't make much sense. The main problem I saw was that there would be no logical motive for aliens to visit us, but not want any direct contact. That's like going to a party, but sneaking around outside, rather than going in. A while ago, however, someone else on Reddit pointed out that there are tribes deep in the Amazon rainforest, who have never contacted the outside world. In fact, it's actually illegal to visit them, they are being preserved and observed, but primarily preserved. 
What that fellow redditor was suggesting, was that there may be some type of advanced alien civilization who know we are here, but avoid direct contact, in order to preserve us, and our way of life. Sure, we are talking pretty unimaginable technologies here, but then, if you brought one of those Amazonian tribesmen out, and told him we can get to the moon, and talk with anyone we want in the world, that would just blow his mind. TL. Doctor, aliens know we are here, but they void contact, in order to preserve us. It's not a conspiracy. We are told to design that way. You put heat generating components near heat sensitive components, so they degrade and break. The trick is to design them close enough to break, but far enough, to not break under warranty. That Harvey Milk's death was about more than his being gay. Harvey Milk and Mayor George Moscone were part of the more left-wing faction in San Francisco politics that wanted, among other things, to figure out a solution for the rent increases that were pricing long-time residents out of the city. Other members of the Board of Supervisors, like Diane Feinstein, were quite liberal by national standards, but were firmly in the pocket of real estate developers. When Dan White quit his post as a member of the board it meant that they lost one of their most pro-business members, and since Moscone was going to get to appoint White's successor they'd end up with someone who was really strong on the anti-gentrification side instead. Since the board was already closely split this would represent a critical realignment in city politics. When the real estate developers in the police association, who were among former police officer Dan White's strongest supporters, they had meetings, where they offered him various things, if he'd try to get his old job back. He agreed, and Moscone appeared to be considering it initially, but Milk went to Moscone, and jammed this idea up. After this White shot Milk and Moscone, Diane Feinstein replaced Moscone as mayor, and used that position, to appoint more moderates to the empty seats on the council. The chief of police who was well liked by the gay community, but roundly hated by his own rank and file was fired, Dan White was given 7 years in jail for a double murder, served 5, and today a one bedroom apartment in San Francisco rents. For $3,500 a month. There isn't enough hard evidence to really accuse anyone of anything, and yet it's breathtaking how all these big power players seem to get what they wanted, because of the actions of a lone nut. I'm a fan of the lost cosmonaut theory, the idea that the Russians were cutting a lot of corners, to be the first in space, and so Yuri Gagarin wasn't the first man in space. Just the first to make it back alive. That the BBC brought on Chris Evans to host the new Top Gear knowing full well, that everyone would hate him. Then, once they replaced him with someone better for the next season, people would compare the new host to Chris Evans, and not Jeremy Clarkson so people would like the new Top Gear more. This is similar to the new Coke conspiracy theory. The theory is that Coca-Cola wanted to change from sugar to corn syrup to increase profits, but knew there was a slight taste difference people would notice and reject. To hide this, they introduced an even more different formula, new Coke, and while it entered the market, they were able to flush the original sugar-based Coke from the pipeline. People rejected new Coke as they expected, which gave them the opportunity to listen to their customers and reintroduce Coke Classic, now made with corn syrup. Customers rejoiced at having their original flavor back, not noticing it was now slightly different than before. Coca-Cola also got a large amount of publicity out of all of this, and helped cement affinity for the brand. That's Mash Brothers Conspiracy, where they already have the characters they want for the new game picked out, but they let us vote to make us think we have some power. Women's pants don't have usable pockets, so they have to buy purses. I have a few female friends that buy men's skinny jeans just to have the pockets. It's very possible that we shot down Flight 93. I was in the Air Force from 08 to 14 as a crew chief. During I met multiple people that were stationed at Langley AFB and DC that said we definitely scrambled F-16s that day from that base, and some of them came back with less armament than they took off with. It's horrible to think we would do this, but it does make sense. Two planes have hit the towers, one on the Pentagon, and now you got a plane that is not responding to any callbacks. What do you do? Again, it's horrible, but in my opinion that plane has got to come down. 
If all this is true though, the skeptic in me is surprised the length at which the government has gone with the stories of cell phone calls, heroics, the movie and such. Edit, I understand Langley is not geographically located in DC, but given its vicinity and importance, the district is commonly used as its reference point. Langley is commonly referred to as the tip of the sphere, and most of the Air Force's central intelligence is based there. Edit 2, as I said, I am, for the most part, a skeptic of the possibility of this. That is what I believe are called for. I'm just saying of all the conspiracies out there, this is one I'm not as quick to dismiss, due to personal references, that I have encountered. While I do currently own tinfoil in my household, none of which are in any form of headgear. Edit 3. I want to thank everyone concerned about my well-being and safety, and would like to confirm I've had no run-ins with any secret government agencies as of yet. I will keep you posted. My personal level of concern may rise given how this Trump thing plays out. Lip balm temporarily makes your lips feel moisturized and soft, but dries out your lips over time, so you end up buying more. Edit. Keep hydrated y'all. It's a great way to prevent chapped lips. 2 liters a day is a recommended amount, but varies based on age, weight, activity levels, etc. That Michael Jordan was suspended by the NBA for gambling, and they covered it up as his baseball era. The NBA had too much to lose tarnishing Jordan's name. That RNGN's com is rigged. I know they're rookies, but WTF is the chance of missing 4 60% shots in a row. I bet my left testicle that any shot where the chance is displayed below 85% might as well be a 10% and I don't care what you say, you can't convince me otherwise. Guys, I don't want to sound. Like I'm sitting here wearing a tinfoil hat or anything, but I think Odd Simpson killed those people. Used to think all prisons were filled sociopaths and murderers. Until I started interning at one and seeing it from the inside, there's definitely something shady going on with corporations and the free labor. Totally convinced our criminal justice system was designed to keep slavery around. That Stephen Hawking's computer is actually the first self-aware A. I. Just using him as a pawn. There is absolutely no reason for contact cases to be as large as they are except to increase the amount of saline solution needed to cover your contact lenses. Big saline companies are out to get us. Edit. Holy shit. I get it. Saline and multipurpose solution are different. I don't necessarily agree with that, but if you follow the instructions on the bottle, they tell you to use an exorbitant amount of solution. You're supposed to rinse, each for 10 seconds, both sides of each contact, the case, the mirror, your toothbrush, your cereal bowl and spoon. Take two bottles and spray it in the air whilst waving your hands back and forth. Soccer will never be popular in America, because the broadcasters have no desire to create demand for it. It's essentially 45 minutes of commercial free programming. Who wants that? Success of football and baseball is directly linked to their built-in ability to have breaks for commercials. Air those games all the time. The advertisers have chosen America's interest, and it is impossible to change without broadcast support. Similar reason no one wants to promote hockey in America, because it really doesn't lend itself to broadcast advertising. I got a 911 conspiracy, but not that one. I find it highly suspicious that they were in such a hurry to remove all the steel. Not because I believe that they are trying to cover up an explosion, but I do believe it's a conspiracy to hide insurance trouble. I do believe the steel beams weren't up to standards and thus failed before they should have done. Removing all traces of the steel beams avoided an insurance catastrophe. Edit. It's a conspiracy theory. Stop telling me why it's wrong. You won't convince me with silly stuff like facts or well thought out arguments. Edit 2. Great. Highest voted comment is a conspiracy theory? Well at least it's no longer the one about my midgets. Edit 3. Got a few people saying hey we got metal from the towers here. So where is here? In the early 1960s, western nations led by Belgium and France, and probably abetted by the U.S. 
first toppled the democratically elected leader of the former Belgian Congo, then allowed that leader, Patrice Lumumba, to be executed by his captors, and later, probably, shot down a United Nations plane carrying Secretary General Dag Hammarskjöld and other staff, killing all aboard, as it was flying in, to help mediate the conflict. All because they thought Lumumba wasn't pro-West and anti-communist enough, and that he might allow the Soviets to obtain uranium from his country. That one is some little discussed Cold War evil done by the West. Pretty crazy, but totally real.